Hey everyone, TragicMTG here with what is turning out to be a bit of a problem, if you haven't noticed already, um, back at Shop Goodwill um, to get some small lots of magic cards for kind of high prices. Um, I ended up snagging two of these from the Goodwill of Delaware. Um, this one for $228 uh, at 2.4 pounds and this one at $428 at 1.6 pounds. Um, I think I'm a victim of my own success here. Um, the prices are getting pushed higher and higher on these, especially on stuff that looks a little uh, older. And the possibilities are there, even though there's very little to go on here. Um, yeah, that doesn't look too exciting. Really hope there's something great in there to make up for that, and this one as well. Stick around and see what happens. All right, this is the box that came in, the Dream Whip Dessert Topping Mix. So hopefully this is the Dream and not the Whip. Here's the remnants of the label from Goodwill of Delaware. Let's get into it. So there's really only about three or four pounds here. Here's hoping. That's too new to be excited about. That's a little older. Yeah, uh, this is either going to be a massive success, a massive failure, or some combination of the two. I'm guessing it's going to probably be the failure, but you never know. That's why I keep doing this. There's always hope, right? So um, let me just kind of throw some of this stuff over there and get into this. And, and, and as always, I'll be scanning these up and hoping to hit that 728 for both of these bags we'd have to have something like really good to kind of get there so an astronaut's transmogrant is pretty decent or at least i thought it was <laughs> it's not the altar i must have been thinking of the altar so we'll take that off really anything under 90 cents is coming off of this list this may go very quick Jungle Troll, so there's a Library of Lang from Revised, which is decent. Um, not the Unlimited, unfortunately. It was definitely a Revised. So it makes it only a buck seventy-eight. So it will stay on the list in the buck pile there. Lightning Bolt, so okay, there's some, some decent usable stuff here. That is a fourth edition. It's not an alternate fourth. It's 275. And some basic lands. Got a polluter. Sometimes I check. Hey, that's good. That's the polluter is nothing big. Now a mana flare, fourth edition mana flare. It's a rare at least, and it's um, halfway decent. Again, it's not the unlimited. Fourth edition is ten bucks. So there's a little hit. We still got a long way to go, and some magic origins is not going to get us there, even if it's a prickle bore. Prickle bore is not going to do it. Not a clown. Knight's Whisper. I know I always check this card. It's just basically a, um, uh, a sign for blood. Okay, actually, it's better than I was thinking. But I did have a. I had a feeling about Knight's Whisper being a little bit more than nothing. Promising a tainted wood is probably okay. Let's scan that up. Buck ninety from the Jace versus Braska version. It's gonna be like a dollar something there when it finally comes through.
the ravenous chupacabra so um, this would have been big when it was in standard currently actually over my 90 cent minimum so we will keep that one on the list radiant essence so are these mirage cars going to come through uncommon nope there's really only there's about one card from mirage that would save this and you guys know what i'm talking about far seek that's okay couple bucks there Uh, this signet, is it going to be any better? Actually, it is. That one's a buck. The Stinkweed Imp is a buck. Only 700 more of those to go. Uh, we got some token, 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 token. That's it. Alright, coming down to the last of this bag. So if this was the first order of the two orders that I got, um, this would have been, this is quite a loss. Um, I'm hopeful that the other bag is going to totally make up for it because I'm a, a, an eternal optimist. But deep down inside, I think I'm already sad for my chances. Platinum's legacy is going to close it out. None of those would have been anything of interest but hey I got a mana flare and we got one more bag to go through okay second bag hopefully better than the first but the chances are low that we're gonna come anywhere close Soothing Balm is definitely what I'm going to need after this ordeal. And seeing a lot of commons here. At least they're older commons, is what I'm telling myself. To soften the blow here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, white cards too, which if you're going to look at older cards, you kind of want, I would want blue cards. Uh, I got a drift of phantasms. Might be worth scanning. 99 cents. And a living armor from the dark. So fire diamond. Is a little bit. Let's take off these other cards. Leaving armor is 87 cents. Doesn't quite make it. And yeah, some more shadow, more stuff. That one actually is a rare. I'll pull it. It's not the rare we need out of Mirage, that's for sure. Remedy, there's the Howling Mine that was right on top of the stack. And it is uh, in, like, you know, a little bit played shape. And it's not that one, unfortunately. It is a fourth edition. And at 784, it's kind of okay, but not good enough. Gorgon. Shamley Shell, we got a dredge deck going on here, it looks like. Manamorphose, it's gonna be a little bit. Yep, seven bucks there. Now, all right, so here come these sleeved cards. And a Diabolic Tutor is pretty decent, even though this one is like pretty messed up. So, ninth edition would have been like a buck. We'll leave it on there, Ebony. Charm, we got Geth's Grimoire, so this might have been some kind of black deck here. The Grimoire is 457. Swamp, swamp, swamp. There's another Grimoire. Ivory Tower, so I don't know what the theme was going to be here. 
We need something really big out of these sleeves here. Every tower is a rare. I don't think it's going to be in the dollar category. So we'll set it over there. No, I was wrong. 660 for the ivory tower. Gain one life for each card in your hand above four. And we're swamp, swamp. All our basic land is in here and nothing much else. Got some bats and rats and skeletons. And I think that's all of our hopes and dreams right there. Okay, the rest of this stack is not sleeved. There's literally one card that would turn this all around from Mirage. Uh, but I don't, I'm not too hopeful at this point. Free from the real, that one's decent as far as commons go. 382 is another one. I think twice in convolute, we already scanned up. This is it, this is the last stack right here. So we need $700 out of this right here. I think it's gonna happen. Llama, he's judging me. I'm having second thoughts about all of this. Pilgrim, more white stuff from Onslaught. The Sacred Nectar and the Shelter and the Salt. That's it. So that was the entirety of that. Um, potentially my biggest loss I've ever had, um, percentage wise, definitely. So. Um, that was that. That was what you get when you gamble sometimes. So a lot of people ask, do you only show your, your wins? No. Um, I'll show you all of my um, buys, my random buys, and some of them don't go as planned. This is one of those. I did get a mana flare at least, so that's kind of cool. Um, that's how it goes sometimes. So it's fine. I'm going to move on. Got more of these coming. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and do the YouTube stuff down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.